Broken rides, shattered food stands, eerie visuals. These 10 abandoned creepy parks are scary as hell to visit. Find company, because this video is going to be dreadful to watch alone. Number 10. Six Flags, New Orleans. A world-renowned amusement park, Six Flags was forced to close after Hurricane Katrina hit it in 2005. The theme park was very famous for its two main rides, the Mega Zeph roller coaster and the SpongeBob SquarePants ride. But unfortunately, the hurricane damaged and flooded the entire property, and the theme park was submerged in up to seven feet of water for a month. It was abandoned because the repairs were too expensive for the owners. Since its abandonment, the people have found other ways of finding thrill through it. Rumors say that people still sneak into the park for a scary adventure. The decapitated heads of clowns floating in the mud look like zombie invasions. The park gives an impression of a post-apocalyptic nightmare, and I don't think visiting it alone is a good idea. Number 9. Chippewa Lake Amusement Park, Ohio, Medina County An amusement park that served people for more than 100 years, its closure and abandonment is heartbreaking for me. Generations of people would have visited this park in Ohio, and it used to welcome them with open arms and a number of rides, including roller coasters, flying cafes, carousel, and Ferris wheel. However, due to poor management and a lack of attention, it had to halt operations and was forced to shut down in 1978, after 100 years of its opening. Now, the park is like any other abandoned property, spooky, eerie and sinister, with overgrown shrubs feeding on moribund wood and scrap metal. Number 8. Pripyat Amusement Park, Pripyat, Ukraine Imagine planning to enter the public eye with a metaphorical bang, but forced to shut yourself due to an actual bang. Well, this might have sounded perplexing to you, but I'll explain. The Pripyat Amusement Park was a very ambitious program and was about to kick off in the summer of 1986 with a loud bang. The park had a 26-meter-high Ferris wheel, bumper cars, swing boats, and much more. But then, an actual boom happened, the Chernobyl disaster. The explosion struck just a few kilometers away from the park and forced it to close before the grand opening. The park exists today as a dark symbol of the nuclear disaster. If any of you thrill-seekers are thinking of sneaking into the ghost park, just to inform you, the radioactive particles are still active and persistent around the area. I suggest you not go there. Content yourself with this video instead. Number 7. Spree Park, Berlin, Germany Once famous for its iconic rides, this abandoned amusement park has been the perfect spooky story and eerie visual to start our list. Located in Berlin, Germany, this abandoned theme park was first opened in 1969 and prospered after the reunification of Germany, but gradually, increasing debts forced the park to shut down in 2002. Also known as Kulturpark, it is the only permanent fun park in East Germany, and the 29.5 hectare park used to host some 1.7 million visitors per year at its peak. Now, the dead clown stares blankly in deserted grounds and old rides are rotting silently. The spine-chilling scenes of this abandoned park can frighten any trespassers, especially after sunset. A fast-beating heart and an adrenaline rush is all you'll get if you'll visit this twisted place, only if you manage to sneak past the fence and the guard dogs. Number 6. Atlantis Marine Park, Perth, Australia Have you heard about the lost city of Atlantis? Now, hear me out about the Lost Atlantis Marine Park of Two Rocks, Perth, Australia. Yup, this extremely cool and amusing marine park was opened in 1981 and attracted tourists from around the world to this small town. The main attractions of the park were water-based and included live dolphin shows and pedal boat rides with a lot more slides and clown shows. However, financial difficulties after the 1987 stock market crash forced the park to shut down its activities closed after just nine years. The abandoned park is now nothing but a home for vandals, plant life, and smashed sculptures. The park once used to host thousands of families each week, but now lays abandoned in the small town. Number 5. Dedda Park, Antwerp, Belgium I'm not sure if any renovations or restoration can eradicate the horrible memories of a nasty accident because there are plans to revive the abandoned park. 
Well, Dead Park was a well-oriented plan whose aim was to provide unforgettable fun and amusement to families at affordable prices, only that their execution did not go according to plan. One young boy had an unforgettable experience, but it was too painful for him to remember as he lost one of his arms while riding on the Nautic Jet Ride. A fierce backlash followed the accident, with a lot of complaints about other safety concerns that forced the park to close down in 2002. Now, other than ruined equipment, rotting rides, and a chilling atmosphere, nothing remains of the park. Number 4. Williams Grove Amusement Park Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. This park closed down after operating for more than 150 years, from 1850 to 2005. It was established as a picnic ground, then was converted into a proper amusement park with rides in the 1920s. The park can boast upon its long history as well as on its scariness. Since its closure, the park structures have disappeared, and most rides are gone now, with only traces of the rides remaining. Many aged equipment continues to haunt the abandoned property. This abandoned park is considered so creepy and scary that the owners reopened it for one night in 2016 on Halloween Eve. People must have had a scary Halloween there. Number 3. Boblo Island Amusement Park, Amherstburg, Ontario. This island is present in the Detroit River on the Canadian side of the border and is part of Amherstburg, Ontario and just a glance at the ruins of this park can give you chills. The island is a five-minute ferry ride from Amherstburg, Ontario, and 18 miles from Detroit. This park was famous for two streamers and could hold about 2,500 passengers each. The Nightmare, Falling Star, Wild Mouse, Sky Streak, and Screamer rides, a Ferris wheel, a zoo, and a carousel were the signature attractions. Change is the new normal these days, especially when you look at the before and after shots of Boblo Island Amusement Park. It was so normal in the past to hear shrieks of people enjoying thrill rides at the park. And now, these days, only the blowing wind whispers while it brushes past tattered metal rides in the park. The park opened in 1898 and closed its doors before completing its Platinum Jubilee in 1993. The reason was poor management, rising maintenance costs, and declining attendance of visitors due to increased competition in the area. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. And similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. The subscriber's pick, Miracle Strip Amusement Park, Panama City Beach, Florida. The subscriber's pick features one of the most creepy abandoned amusement parks in the world, Miracle Strip Amusement Park that closed in 2004 after 41 years of being in operation. However, a new amusement park using the same name was resurrected and began with moving the rides from its original location to Pier Park in March 2009. The original and the abandoned Miracle Strip Amusement Park was located in Panama City Beach, Florida and operated from 1963 to 2004. The main attraction of the park was the Starliner roller coaster, which now lays abandoned in the park. The park gives so eerie and spooky vibes that visiting it in the night is one hell of an adventure. Number 1. Gulliver's Kingdom Amusement Park, Mount Fuji, Japan. This unique theme park was famous for featuring a 147-foot-long statue of Lemuel Gulliver, who was a main character from a novel, who was a bold adventurer who visits a multitude of strange lands, which now lay stranded on the ground. The ambitious park shut down in 2001, just after four years of its opening due to poor ticket sales. The reason involved is itself very spine-chilling, because the park was situated near the Aokigahara Forest of Japan that is quite infamous as the Suicide Forest of Japan. The park was completely demolished in 2007, but the grounds still feature odd structures that give trespassers the feeling that they're not alone in the park. Thank you very much for watching the video! Do like and share it with your friends. 
Which of these abandoned amusement parks do you find the most daring and creepy to visit? Do tell us in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming videos.